Fearing they could somehow be coerced into supporting the Biden administration's proposed COVID-19 vaccine mandate on businesses, Republican lawmakers on the fiscal committee tabled $27 million in federal funds to boost vaccination efforts. Committee Chairman Representative Ken Weiler, a Kingston Republican, wants more information, and he tells News 9 he's expecting to hear reports of adverse effects of the vaccine. In two weeks, if we've heard such a a large report of adverse effects, I think we should cancel this because, as I said, is there anyone in New Hampshire who hasn't had the opportunity to get the shot who wanted it? I don't think so. Why do we need to put 15 more people on the street to go around and take your name and knock on your door and interfere with your life to say, why haven't you had the shot? At this hearing, HHS Commissioner Lori Shibonet told Representative Weiler he was spreading misinformation when he questioned the state statistics that 90 percent of hospitalized COVID patients in New Hampshire are unvaccinated. That is in doubt. Well, it's not in doubt by the healthcare community. Well, people I'm hearing from that are working in emergency rooms saying that 90 percent of those admitted have had the shot. That is incorrect, and that's misinformation. Why would someone say that? I have no idea why someone would say that, but that I is incorrect. And that is true. that is the problem that we are having. Increasing our vaccination rate is spreading misinformation about the COVID vaccine. Democrats say Republicans are playing with fire. For us to then not give the department and the experts the tools they need to contain this pandemic is not only really dangerous for public health, but it's really dangerous for the economy as well. Tonight, Governor Chris Sununu is weighing in and backing his commissioner, saying, quote, as elected officials, we must hold ourselves to the highest standards and we absolutely cannot contribute to the spread of misinformation. It is dangerous and wrong. I fully support Commissioner Shibonet and the department's position in utilizing these funds. Live in Concord tonight, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.